Welcome everyone who is currently watching the video. Whoever that is. Um now you might know about my latest thing and uh, just sorry about that for now. I'm making a animated series kind of Joy and roll end episode one, so I have to start from nothing again. Yes. And let me just bring this up a bit. And instead of that, for now, you can enjoy the game that I enjoyed so long ago. Wait. I can put this on the other Wii console I have. Uh, there's a big chance that you might recall this. And that is because this is on the Wii. I believe it's newer than the Xbox 360. <sighs> Conveniently, all files are empty, like as if I never played this game on this Wii system. Literally. I'm going to ask John for something. He'll have to wait for this cutscene. Uh, it got me a Pepsi. Shh. And the cutscene isn't really even over yet. That means I can drink some. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. The only thing I have to tell you is this was back in the Wii system, where things are worse, and I think they could have afforded voice acting. That or the Wii system wasn't compatible with that much voice acting. Oh, and some of the noises come out of the nunchuck itself. I will even show you my older nunchuck. If I can find it right now. Oh, here it is. It is this old thing. It it still works though. Plus, look at my new nunchuck. It's brand new, obviously. Rolling. That's when he knew he was underpowered. <laughs> Excuse me, I burped. Plus, I was playing Lego Anna Jones 2 earlier. Alright, forgotten. Oh, wait. Did 
It's a good thing this game uses loads and loads of magic. One is just a basic spell. Plus, I have played this game all the way. My brother and my sister never seen Lego like, Indiana Jones 2 fully, but its ending involves an alien. Plus, if you don't beat the first world map, then uh, you're not going to be able to beat the game. Ah. Uh, let me just... This game is just so good. And now where's the popsicle? Oh, wait. Maybe this will help. I'm not really that sure on everything because... It has been a very long time since I played this game. Well, I cannot say the same for Lego Indiana Jones 2 now. But I can say that I am a little rusty at them both. Literally. Ugh. Oh wait, I meant to roll into this. Never mind. I was meant to press Z. Which... Wait. A, B... C! Or is it B? I think, uh, this piece of the controller is a B, right? If it isn't, then it's just A... Z, C, and also 1 and 2, you shouldn't forget that. Alright, I need a strength potion for that. Ah... Uh. This is a very long game, I do have to say. I did play the sequel, which is years, uh, something to through something, I guess. But this game did keep me interested in it long enough, and I did get to see the ending to it. I have no idea what the characters are even saying. Why is there a little Lego Harry Potter there? I mean, why was there a Lego Harry Potter there? It was little. Plus, when you can make a game on basically anything, you choose a character that uses magic. Which is a brilliant idea, but the Lego Annie and Jones series is a bit better. Only by a little bit. I don't know if I'll get to be a true wizard at this moment. Uh, oh, bring him. Here I go. The dirty. Wow. I 
Oh, great. Wrong room. Um. Why have a dragon there? All that I want to know is why. How nice. I'm pretty sure that is something that is important. Plus, the broom riding things are the weirdest part of this game. I did play one for the Xbox 360. I don't have it here. It's at my daddy's place. Plus, that Xbox 360 was probably going to Red Ring. Or red light. A full on red ring is just not a hazard. Seriously. <sighs> Luckily, the cutscenes aren't too long. First one, uh, kind of not needed. I'm pretty sure I did watch the movie. Well, one of them. I'm not really remembering on how it goes. Well, at least I think I watched a movie of... Yeah, you Harry Potter. Oh, and if you're wondering... Have I gotten this today? The answer is no, because I'm pretty sure this isn't around in Walmart anymore. Uh. Oh, and keep in mind, I was playing this before I had a room. So I had, so I had to play this in the living room. Literally. The living room. What nice cutscenes. I feel like they're only getting longer. Oh. Ah. Uh, nine and... F four threes? At least I think. That's amazing. And this was impressive to me back in the day that I played this. Seriously. Uh, you have to know that I did play this a long time ago. So some things might be blurry to me. And I'll call the series, uh... Thumbs up, hashtag, something. Because I'll just call it the thumbs up thing. Plus, the Wii console was pretty good in my opinion. But the controllers are ultimate evil. I have to keep my nunchuck fixed up. Right now. There is one game I didn't really ever get to beat. I have no idea what all of that was. Plus, uh, the Lego series is really weird. Especially this one. Any form of normalness you might have, 
will just be ripped away by this. Oh, and I think this has gone on for long enough. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.